what you have going for you tonight? Uh, just got some pitches I could hit, and I hit them. <laughs> That's about it. You seem to like a lot of pitches that are kind of high in the zone. Is that, like, normal for you, or is that just kind of what you're getting? Uh, I hope I shouldn't like them much longer. But, uh, I mean, I just saw a pitch that I thought I could drive. Uh, I know it was up in the zone. I knew it was a ball. But, um, yeah, I, could, I knew I'd give a bat hit to it. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. I think Dylan was telling us the other day that, like, he loves taking free bases because he trusts the guy behind him. No, that guy is you tonight. So, you know, what does it feel like to follow up Dylan in, these, in this lineup? Oh, yeah, I mean, I just try to do whatever I can. Yeah, uh, it's quiet, uh, I mean, so. as soon as he got on in the first inning, I, I was like, I need to drive a ball here. He's going to score two out because he's fast. He's going to score. And I knew as soon as I hit that first one that Dylan was going to score. He's, he, I know how he plays, and he's going to read that ball, and it's going to be a run. So, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty awesome when I'm on deck yeah, and I see him like and I try to make him. But I think that's a great difference for my game was uh, yeah. I swing at too many pitches the um, first couple weekends when I came back. And uh, now I'm trying to narrow down my yeah, zone a little bit and swing at pitches that I can drive. Right. Um, I'm starting to make some big okay. contact. Okay. How's the shoulder feeling? Right. Good. Good. Yep. Are you progressing more towards potentially playing your third base in? Yeah, soon. Um, I've been throwing a little bit um, here and there. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're working really hard on getting back over there. It doesn't seem to impact your swing at all. It seems no. like every hack you take, you're no, going yeah. to When I'm in the box, I don't really feel anything. <laughs> just swing. Was it just, like, popped up? Was it dislocated? Or? Yes. Okay. Tommy, in, that, uh, in the event when you hit the home run, what was your approach going into that, A.B.? Um, same as every other approach. Just find a pitch I can drive and try to drive as far as I can. <laughs> What are you seeing from these pitchers tonight? I mean, they threw like seven different pitchers at y'all. Yeah. So, like, I know that there was like a lull in the middle, but what were you seeing in those first couple of at-bats? Oh, uh, they definitely came at us. Uh, they were throwing a lot of fastballs um, in the beginning, and then uh, they started going to small speed. But, um, yeah, I was just trying to find a fastball I can drive. Um, when the lefty came in, he was throwing a lot of soft stuff, so I was like, well, maybe I can try to drive a curveball. Got a lot in front, though. But, uh, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. We we're just trying to hunt the fastball. And, uh, I think we did a good job early, and then they, they switched up on us, but then we picked up a pen, So, How do you think your approach has changed or improved since you got to LSU, if at all? Oh, it's, it's been really good. Um, I'm just trying to focus on swing decisions. If I can uh, swing at the proper pitches, and, uh, then that's a good day. And if I miss pitches, I miss pitches. But if, I, if I'm swinging at strikes and swinging at the right pitch, like fastballs, then uh, that's a good day. So we're talking about you backing up Dylan. How does it feel to have guys behind you in the lineup that can you know, come through behind you? Oh, it's awesome. Uh, I, no, not going to be many touch with the walks. That's pretty awesome to be able to go up there and know that they're going to have to pitch to you because the guy behind me is just going to do the same thing. How do you guys kind of – how do you liven up in the middle of the game when there's no run being scored and you guys kind of struggle with the plate? What do you guys try to say to each other to get back after it? Just keep going. Keep going. Keep swinging because, I mean, the whole game we're making hard contact. So we weren't doing anything wrong. We were hitting the ball, so uh, just keep going. They're going to fall. They did. Uh, I had to come into the game pretty quick, so it kind of took me that first half to get settled in. But uh, for me, typically sliders are pretty important things for me. But uh, I thought after the first half, I got settled in well with my fastball command and then my slider, obviously, too. I think that slider kind of helped because it was all righties, pretty much. Yeah, those, yeah, I think there was one lefty in the lineup. So, yeah, slider was a big pitch tonight. Um, you've had a couple of good outings. Like, how have you been feeling so far? Can you take us through like kind of the injury journey you've had? Yeah. So I mean, unfortunate events last year. I had a grade two tear in my PCL pretty early, like probably three weeks before season. So uh, my first couple outings last year, I had a knee brace on and uh, just throwing to that thing on is is really hard too because like there's a weight on your stride leg. So. I mean, obviously it wasn't a great year for me last year, but uh, I took that to my advantage. Went to the Cape this summer and uh, threw like 15 innings, pitched well there. But uh, I knew in the weight room I needed to get on top of that. So I came back a little early from the Cape to get in the weight room. Hit the weight room hard, got my weight up 15, 20 pounds, feel great. And then Coach Wes Johnson, um, the work he's done as the pitching staff as a whole, I think is obvious to see that every guy on the staff has taken a huge jump in development. And uh, I give him a lot of credit for that. And uh, he's helped us tremendously. Did you have another injury in the fall? or? I had a little bit of shoulder tendonitis that shut me down uh, after the third week of the fall. Mm -hmm. And I uh, kind of cleaned my arm path up, cleaned some mechanical issues up, and been rolling. 
to overcome all that and just kind of be where you are right now? How, how does that kind of make you feel? You ever look back on that? Yeah, I give God the glory for that. I mean, it's, when you get injured like that at this level, like, it's easy to get down on yourself and fall behind because the talent here is so unreal. But I think it's just for me, just staying where my feet are, falling in love with the process and just putting the work with my head down, taking it one day at a time. It sounded like Jason Kelly last year also saw something in you. I think Jay was telling us about that. Um, did you really get take anything away from having him as a pitching coach last year? Oh, yeah, for sure. He helped tremendously. He really helped me on the mental aspect of it, like when I got hurt, just kind of him talking to me a few days a week, just helping me overcome that. And uh, he helped me get in a better spot mentally about the injury for sure. And um, it's helped me a lot. I'm just taking that with me to now. Mechanically, like, what have you kind of worked on with Wes? And, you know, you talked about cleaning up your slider. Yeah, so I was a little longer um, with my arm action, which put more stress on the front side of my shoulder. And uh, with him, just shortening that arm path up and doing a ton of drills, putting a ton of work with that. And uh, a few lower body things. But like I said before, I think I give credit to the weight room a lot. Like, just hitting the weight room hard and getting stronger helps you in every aspect. You have to come in in tough situations of the game. Do you have some sort of mental routine that you go through before you come to the mound? Yeah, typically after I throw the last pitch to the catcher, I walk around the back of the mound and I take a big breath and I'm just like, let's go. And um, I think for me or anyone in that situation, tough situation, just taking it one pitch at a time, seeing your pitch and just committing to that pitch and then focusing on the next pitch, committing to that pitch. And then I think your results turn out pretty good if you do that. Do you just like like those situations, like coming in where there's a couple guys on base and you know you've got a high pressure situation? Yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, especially when you have a defense behind you like that. I mean, Napoleon and Thompson are making unreal <laughs> plays the whole game today, and uh, when you have an offense that puts up runs like that, it takes a big load off your shoulders knowing that they're going to put up eight to ten runs a game. How much confidence do you guys have in each other? Just kind of going off of what you just said. Oh, it's it's a lot. I mean, what we have going on in the locker room this year is special, and. Um, like just the team morale and the team bonding, hanging out outside of the baseball field. It's different than we've had it since I've been here my freshman year. And I think that just translates to the field. And I mean, you see the results of that. Do you like being in these long inning save opportunities and kind of closing up the game from? Oh yeah, it's there? fun. I mean, yeah, if all the fans getting up for the last pitch of the game doesn't get you fired up, nothing will. It's, it's fun. Good deal.